Hi everyone, welcome to YouTube. Today is a bit of a colder day for camping outside. When I left the home this morning, it was minus 28. So my jaw's a little bit frozen already. Um, I've got my uh, Pioneer 500 and I've got it loaded with a few things to do uh, an overnight camp. So today is gonna be a UTV overnight winter camp. And of course I've got my, here he is. Got Esme with me as well to keep me company. So I'm expecting a pretty cold night, but I do have uh, a stupidly large sleeping bag. So I think we'll be okay. So this is the Van Gogh TBS Micro 200. I think they don't make them anymore. I'm pretty sure they don't actually. Back in the day, this was a pretty reasonable tent for a reasonable price. So this is going to be my home for the night. You can see it's kind of small. It has this tension band system 
in the middle. I've just disconnected the sights. I don't actually even need to fly, but I think that'll be okay. I'm in a very sheltered spot. Uh, there's a few pockets on one side. Bathtub, base. Okay, let's get the rest of the equipment. So along with my uh, ridiculously large sleeping bag, and we're trying out this uh, climate uh, static V insulated ultralight pad. Uh, it's probably not rated down to what I need, but this bag is so big anyway. It actually uh, has an R value of 4.4 and uh, only weighs 475 grams. So we'll see how that works out. But I don't think I even need a pad with this huge sleeping bag. It's a good time to give it a try. So that's 10 breaths. I can tell right away it's very narrow. Uh, so as long as you don't toss and turn too much, I think we'll be, uh, you'll be okay with that. It's very light. Obviously it has some sort of foam as an insulator inside. That's funny, the sleep bag actually fills the entire tent. Not something you would backpack with. I'm just having a quick scout around to see if I can maybe see any grouse because they'll be wonderful for supper and uh, it's very beautiful out here and it's not quite as cold as I thought it would be so that's a bonus.
so tonight we're going to have some rice. A uh, cup of soup, of course. And we're going to have two Murray Browns hot sauce, Louisiana hot sauce. In goes the hot sauce. And I also have a bag of hickory smoked jerky. Anyways. Let it stir. I like this uh, Maxpedition five by twelve. Uh, it's actually pretty good, combined with this, which is my herbs and spices bag. I also keep enough rice and uh, cup of soups, enough to uh, keep me from not going too hungry for a couple of days at least. Um, if I can supplement that with hunting as well, then I could go for much longer, obviously. Um, I had an opportunity at a grouse today, uh, but that didn't work out so good. He got away. So that was my dinner for tonight and uh, he's not, and I'm eating cup of soup. So I think it's good now. Uh, hopefully you can see that perhaps. Not bad. Climbed into the old big sleeping bag. Uh, it's not very late, but it'd be nice just to get warm and uh, settle in. There's me, he's sat over there. She's snuggled up, she gets cold. I'll bring her inside the uh, very large sleeping bag. Uh, pad is pretty narrow as I suspected, uh, but I think we'll be okay. It doesn't feel that cold. Uh, but in the night, obviously it does drop. So uh, we got plenty of blankets and whatnot. So I think we'll be fine. Okay, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Wasn't actually too bad a night. It's actually quite mild this morning. It's about minus five. Uh, the tent's way too small for a dog and a person and a big sleeping bag. Figured that out, but it worked reasonably well. It's, uh, I probably won't be taking it winter camping again, put it that way. Uh, we've got a, uh, uh, brew on the go, so we'll have some breakfast and then start today's activities. Mm -hmm. 
And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you like my videos, leave me a comment, maybe a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.